So when it comes to me and sports growing up, I'm not the biggest fan. I mean, I talk about video games and anime for a living, or at least I try. That can change. First, you can like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and make sure to spread this video all over the internet. Most because I want to talk about the second thing that really got me more into sports. Sports anime. Yeah, I know it sounds a little cheesy, but uh, hear me out on this one. If it wasn't for sports anime, I really wouldn't be invested in a lot of different shows that I really watch today. In fact, one of my all-time favorite animes is a sports anime called Haikyuu. And it's all thanks to a specific series, Ice Shield 21, written by Riichiro Inagaki. If that name sounds familiar, that's also because he's also the writer of the hit series Dr. Stone. And unlike Promised Neverland, its second season didn't suck. You might also know him from another series called Trillion Game. And if it wasn't for Ice Shield 21, I really wouldn't be interested in football. Back in high school, I literally knew nothing of the sport. I only knew that people threw the ball, kicked the ball, and moved it left and right. I was not into sports. I mean, when I tried tackling one of those tackle dummies, I actually got like, launched five feet away from it. True story. But my sad life aside, Ice Shield 21 had a great run of 37 volumes of the manga and an incomplete run of 145 episodes. That may seem like a lot, but there's still a couple of arcs they kind of skipped out on, like the Christmas Bowl and the final football game with all the characters working together. But let's just rip the band-aid off and just talk about it already. Ice Shield 21 had an English dub. Not many people know about it because it's technically lost media now. Ice Shield 21's anime was animated by Gallup, who are mostly well known for making a lot of well-known anime series, especially the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise, for better and for worse. So you're probably asking, why haven't I heard about this English dub? Especially for those who are dedicated to watching the English dubs, for some reason. Well that's because it's practically lost media now. That's because the anime originally aired on Toonami. More specifically, Toonami Jetstream. Hey Toonami faithful, it's your old pal Tom. I'm here to tell you about Toonami Jetstream, your online source for the finest anime and action cartoons on the net. Which was an online anime watching service that Toonami did online, which ran from July 2006 to January of 2009. It also featured tons of other anime such as Hikaru no Go, Mar, the Mega Man animes NT Warrior and Star Force, and another series called Kiba. But uh, take a guess which era this came out in. Yep, that's right. This was Tom 4 era. Part of the, you know, disgusting version of Tom that nobody really likes. And was the last era until its return in 2012. There was a lot of things this Tom did, and killing Toonami was one of them. And apparently also making the English dub to Ice Shield 21. And trust me when I say, it was not easy trying to find these episodes. So you're probably asking how many episodes there are in this series. Out of 145 episodes of this series, there's only 5 English episodes. That is genuinely surprising. If you're not familiar with Ice Shield 21, it's the story of Sena Kobakawa and his childhood friend Mamori. Sena, Mamori, brown spiky hair, pink hair. They have a childhood friend named Riku. Why does this look familiar? Eh, it's probably nothing. Well, anywho, Sena and Mamori are attending Damon High School, home of the Damon Devil Bats, their American football team, because apparently that was popular in Japan. And the quarterback slash captain of the team is Yoichi Hiruma. The literal devil incarnate. Don't let the creepy devil-like face and the fact that he'll blackmail you for anything for certain situations to get his own favors. He's actually a nice guy. Hiruma actually notices that Senna has a really great running speed and actually forces him to become his running back for the Damon Devil Bats, give him the identity Ice Shield 21. Or if you want to be a total weeb about it, Aishiro Nijuichi. First off, an eye shield is a type of protective wear that actually protects your eyes, and some people who actually use glasses use them so they can see better in football games. And Nijuichi is the Japanese number for 21, with Niju meaning 20 and Ichi meaning 1. So here's a good question for you. What does Ichijo-san mean? Leave it down in the comments if you think you can guess it. Now even though I state that the anime has 5 episodes, it actually dubs a total of 7 episodes of the 145 of the series. The first 7 to be more precise. When the Devil Bats face the Cupids, which was a one-off team just to show that Senna is a powerful character, and the match against the Ojo White Knights. Where we got introduced to Senna's rival Shin, who is voiced by Crispin Freeman, the voice of Alucard the f 
smothering vampire. Oh, wait, wrong version. That's Takahata. And Shizuo from Da 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 Da. And that's not the only noteworthy voice actor in this series. Hiruma is voiced by Derek Stephen Prince, who you might know as the voice of Uryu from Bleach. Mori is voiced by the legendary voice actress Kate Higgins, you know, known for many different well known iconic voices, such as Sailor Mercury, the early 2000s Smiles Tales Power, and the most current Pauline from Super Mario Odyssey, and the upcoming Mario Golf game. And Senna himself is voiced by Yuri Lowenthal. Am I pronouncing that right? Lowenthal. I think I am. If that name sounds familiar, you might know him as Simon from Gurren Lagann, Sasuke Uchiha from Naruto, and Yosuke from Persona 4, among other well-known voice roles. And honestly, I actually could see Yuri's voice as Senna really well. Though is it kind of weird that Senna looks almost like Suna? In fact, their names practically rhyme. This had quite the all-star cast, at least these are the ones I'm familiar with. But of course, once when Tsunami got the boot, so did iShield 21's English dub. And the license was given to Sentai Filmworks, which made a DVD collection of 52 out of the 145 episodes of the series, all in Japanese. And then Crunchyroll got all the episodes completely translated for us to watch. And if you can tell from the footage I'm using, I'm actually using the authentic English dub, and for some reason the audio is supremely off. It might be because how the video was recorded or something, but I tried to fix it myself, but it was just too much work. And the iShield 21 English dub was lost to obscurity. Well, except for the horrendous mid-2000s English dub that the series got, I'd give it a listen. Yeah, that was pretty bad. And a good recommendation to not even look up this English dub. Mostly because, well, it's really hard to find this dub. I had to look through many different anime watching websites just to make sure that it had the English dub of the series. Like I said, lost media. And it's not really worth looking it up considering you can just watch the entire series in Japanese on Crunchyroll, Verb, or any other streaming services that have it available. It's the better option in my honest opinion. But now here's a good question. Would I want this series to come back with an English dub? I'm not really sure, honestly. I really love iShield 21. It's a really great anime about American American football of all things, but considering that Reichiro and Igaki is still working on Dr. Stone, and also that Shaman King even got a remake following the story to completion, we could see iShield 21 make a comeback in some formal way, but I highly doubt it. I mean, personally myself, I'd love a new next generation of iShield 21. There aren't really many anime I can think of on the top of my head that involve American football. There was one about rugby, but that was short-lived. But who knows, maybe sometime in the future we'll get an iShield 21 remake that'll follow the story from beginning to end, or maybe an Ice Shield movie that involves the final arc of the series. But if they haven't done that, then I doubt they'll do it now. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you happen to like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. You can also hit the join button to check out a more exclusive content, or you can check out my Teespring where I got some really cool shirt swag. We're planning on adding new designs in the near future, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Thanks for watching guys, and you can call me anything on this show, just don't call me lucky.